Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bolt Gun. Today I'm going to be doing a slow time, quick and easy tutorial on how to paint purple sword blades. Okay, so for the first layer we're going to use Citadel Zerius Purple, which is a nice base colour for it. I'm just going to give the whole blade a nice even coating of this. Now you can see different colours on the other sides there because I'm playing about with ideas to do a flaming blade at a later point. But I haven't got around to that one yet, so I'm using the reverse side to show you how to do the purple. Now this is the blade colour that I've been using on the Black Legion and on my Sons of Horus as well. I thought it was just kind of a nice dark colour. When it's finished I usually paint it with a gloss varnish just to give it like a kind of obsidian look. Makes the blades look, I don't know, a little bit evil maybe. Like so. Next we're adding a little bit of Vallejo white into the purple and we're going to do the first layer of highlights. Now you can use any white or any purple for this, the colours may be different but the method is exactly the same. And what we're doing is we're dividing the blade into not quite thirds really, you're sort of doing the top third of the blade then a little bit more than the middle third on the opposite side and then you're doing the final third on the original side of the blade. Obviously if you watch the blue and white blade that I did last week, it was made a little bit tricky because the blade itself was simply smooth and I had to paint the opposite sides in, as it were. On this there is a ridge down the centre of the blade so it makes it a whole lot easier to do, to separate it into two halves. Now I've put a few pictures of Sons of Horus and Black Legion guys at the very end of this. That's just to show you the different blades that I've used this on. There are a few more but I've just given you three at the end there just to show you what type of thing you can achieve with it. Now once you've finished that layer you're adding a little bit more white to the mix and you're going to cover almost the same area. On the top of the blade you want the, the newest highlight going right to the very edge of the blade and the very tip of the blade but leaving a small sliver of the previous colour at the opposite end to the tip. On the second section you want to be leaving a little bit of the previous colour at either end of this highlight so you're not quite going to the top and you're not quite going to the bottom of it. When you get onto the other side you're going to be doing exactly the same leaving a little bit of the previous colour right at the very bottom of the highlight and also at the top of it. Now we'll do another different video, I've divided most of these blades up into thirds so far. So I'm going to be doing a couple of other ones just to show you different effects that you can achieve using the same kind of method. Next highlight, once again, we're mixing some Vallejo White with the mix that you've just been using. We're starting on the middle section now and we're going to do that leaving the previous two shades. A little sliver of each above and below this highlight. Now again, this is a quick and easy method. If you want to spend a lot longer doing it you can make those different shades that you're putting in a lot narrower so that you've got a proper range of shades from the purple to the white. Being a quick and easy method and being on a tabletop miniature it's not quite getting as good a job as obviously if you wanted to enter it in any kind of paint competition or anything like that but it will look great on the table. As always, if you spot any bits that you've missed as you're going along, just go back and fix them up. That's that layer finished. Now we're going to add a little bit more Vallejo White to the previous mix and do exactly the same, but leaving the previous shade visible as well. So as you're going, these layers get a lot quicker because they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller as time goes by. But you're leaving each of the previous shades visible at either end on this middle section. And you're also leaving the hilt end of this top section, leaving all the shades visible there. 
And then the bottom section, you're leaving the shades visible at the top and the bottom. Like so. Next up, we're going to add, yep, a little bit more white to the previous mix. I'm just going to do a small section at the tip of the blade here. A small section in each of the other two areas as well. Like so. Next we're going to be using just Vallejo White. It's one of the final highlights that you're going to be doing. So you're going to be doing the very tip and a little sliver on each of the shining sections. And then we're going to be doing some really thin lines down the centre of the blade and along the outside edge of it here. Now you can see the way I'm doing this outer edge line here where you've just got the pure white going along the very edge of the blade. That's using a little tiny bit of Vallejo White on the brush and then you're using the side of the bristles to go along the edge like so get a little bit too much on just wipe it off with your finger as you're going and wipe a little bit off your brush and you can see a little bit out of focus there which is handy now i'm going to use a little tiny bit of zerius purple That is just to repurple some of this area here and straighten off the lines down the centre of the blade. Just so it gives that really straight edge so it looks like the ridge is being shown there. So always, if you're wiping the paint off with your thumb, don't press too hard or you could wipe off far more than you wanted to. You usually just need to do a gentle touch, a gentle rub away from where you want the paint to be. Now we're going to go back to pure white. We're just going to highlight this centre ridge. It's one of the reasons that I want to see the Zerius purple just then. It's just because that way you've got a nice straight line. And then when you add the white to it, you don't have to worry about then reusing the purple maybe going over that really thin white line that's running down the center of the blade i'm just going to do a little bit more white lines down the edges of the blade so wipe off a little bit of the excess you have to be very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to accidentally wipe white paint all over the blade But you do want to get it so that it shows up and it leaves a nice white edge. Like so. The final thing we're going to do is use a little bit of Citadel Drucci Violet Shade. We're just going to darken up the areas of Zerius Purple. I've got a little bit too much on the brush there, so you want to be putting that on, just getting that to the very top and the very bottom. And the same here, leaving a little line of Zerius purple. Now you can do this before doing the white edging, it's much of a muchness if you can put the Duty Violet on before the white edging, happy days if you can't, just do the Duty Violet then do the white edging, but even if you do the Duty Violet afterwards, you can always go back and just do a little bit of a white edge on the blade where you've gone over it with the Juchi. It doesn't matter too much either way. I'm just going down where the little power thing is there and adding a bit of shade down each side. That is the power blade finished. There's just a little couple of blades to show you. This is from the Sons of Horus, the Axe and the First Sword. And the final one is a Black Legion Terminator. This is all using the same techniques.
Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below. Thanks very much.